wait, wait, wait. Chill. Chill. This is coming from the heart. I'm scared right now, I'm terrified. I got news coverage, I got a bomb threat happening. I had Drake come in because I manifested that. Yesterday, I'm in my hotel room because I isolated myself from my group because I believe in energy and I was making sure energies were good. I couldn't be around them because their energies were connected and trying to put this together. My energy was connected and what message am I trying to give the world? All of a sudden, at the flip of a dime, all this confidence that you see was gone. I grab my iPhone, I throw it at the phone, it smashes. I scream. My dog jumps off the bed, goes to the corner. My girlfriend starts crying. She's holding back tears because she's trying to keep me strong because she's a queen. Yes. I go into the bathroom, I punch the wall. I fall to my knees, I start to cry, I start to bawl. I was delirious. Fear entered my heart. All of a sudden this event that had become a reality from a dream that I once had was terrifying me. And that's what God was letting me know. That because you're being terrified by this dream, is that is the reason that it's your purpose. So I got on my hands and knees and I cried it out. And I told God that I have full trust that in no matter what happens tonight, no matter who tries to stop us, it's not a mistake. It was supposed to happen. Something bad could have happened at that event. God didn't want it to. I wanted that event to be a success tonight. I wanted my picture with Drake. I met Drake last night. Wait till I tell y'all that fucking story. Yo. Where was I? Y'all trying to take me to the fun part of the story. I see what you're doing. <laughs> By the way, I'm looking at all y'all in the eye. Because what God taught me through all this was the reason I was depressed for years, the reason I was suicidal, the reason I didn't want to be around friends, the reason I pushed out girls who loved me and I didn't even deserve to walk on the ground they walked on. But I kicked them out of my life. Cindy, I love you wherever you are in this crowd. Where was I? You love Cindy. You kicked her out of your life. We love so you. So basically, this is all happening because of y'all's energy and I love y'all. I want y'all to hear the story that's gonna change my life. I need somebody to give me my phone. This story is gonna change the world. Use my phone. I need my Twitter. I need my Twitter. I wanted to get to it. Hey, Boozy, you can hey, log hey, I'll have hey, to explain Boozy, it to you another log time. Boozy, log in. I am if you're you gonna no stay service. here. No oh, say it. I'm telling every story now. Tonight's changing the world, Kim. Hey, can I say something? Yeah. To you. I'm looking at you dead in the motherfucking eye. I'm not hiding behind Twitter. I love you. I fucking love you. Wait, that's not Simi though. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter, bro. I love everybody on this earth, my G. Last year and the years before that, life put me and Keem against each other. We were against each other. The devil was in the way. He did God did that because now in 2018 on July 15th, Keem is here helping me turn this dream into a reality. He needed us to fight, he needed us to separate, so when we do return to each other, we can help each other change the world.